when you see me laughing just know that i'm about to correct another Ogbonge lie that I stumbled on on the streets of YouTube. Hi there, welcome back to another YouTube video of mine. But if you are new to my YouTube channel, hi, my name is Lily, and in this video, I'm about to correct a lie that I stumbled on on the front page of YouTube by another content creator. So that means I'm about to react to somebody's video but like i've always said in my videos me reacting to a video does not mean i like the person or hate the person or wishes them bad or good i don't wish them anything the only reason i'm reacting to whoever is because of the video it has nothing to do with who make these videos it's about the video made so i am going to react to this video that I stumbled on on the front page of youtube because there are too many lies because there are too many lies in that video i want to correct it uh, by giving my own unbiased unapologetic opinion and of course don't forget to like this video now before i give my own opinion let me leave you to some clips from the video and i will be back to give my unapologetic, honest, ugonge truth. <laughs> a Nigerian may like you as a Ghanaian or South African. A Nigerian may love you. Hey, things that came from Ghana, they will love you. But listen, a typical Nigerian will never choose you before Nigeria. Lie, lie. They will always place Nigeria before you. That is whom they are. Okay, because there are too many lies in this video, but I'm going to start from this particular point where this lady is saying, Ni "Typical Nigerian would choose Nigeria before a Ghanaian. A typical Nigerian would choose Nigeria before a South African." But why would ladies do? Should have said a typical Nigerian would choose Nigeria before a British, American, or a German. But you ended it with their brother. Are they competing? But since you want us to talk, let's talk. Oh, you brought this on and I appreciate it. I like your English anyways and I like your confidence. The part for me is your confidence. Ah, I love it. You made it look so true, my sister. Now, because you are a lady and I do not like to sound like I'm attacking my gender because come on baby we have gone through a lot together being Nigerian women so now I'm gonna be so 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 freaking nice to you because of that now let's start with this lie let me correct it okay mm -mm. let me correct it nobody is gonna change it this is blood daylight and I won't let anybody get away with lies okay now let me ask you I'm just gonna ask this question and you get the truth Put it together and see the answer to that question. Now, the question is, if you genuinely love Nigeria, genuinely proud of being a Nigerian, will you at any point try to impersonate other nationalities? Will you try to impersonate being Ghanaian? Will you try to impersonate South Africans? See, before my country people brought this habit of wanting the Ghanaian passport to Ghana, they were doing it in South Africa. You and I know they have been, you know, South Africans, they, they, they are like Nigerians. So when they are explaining something, you may not want to, you may think they are wrong because they have that level of anger in them too. When they are explaining things, why they don't like our people, you will be angry. You will think they are lying because of their attitude, because they have that Buga attitude that Nigerians have. Now, you said a proud Nigerian, proud Nigerians are proud, they will choose this. If you are proud of your country, will you want another person's country passport? No, what for? When you have your own country that you are so proud of, that you love. Now you say a typical Nigerian. Uh, unfortunately for you, I can refer to myself as that typical Nigerian because I am a Nigerian, not by choice anyway. I don't know how I found myself in Nigeria. Because God created me there, I have no choice but to take it. And for me now, I do not want to be from any other country since i did not have the right to choose where i come from i don't think i should have the right to change change it today so i am a nigerian and that is the typical nigerian you're talking about and the good thing is as a typical ninja babe that i am i will tell you people the truth yes 
I do not know where you're filming from. If you're filming from Nigeria or some country somewhere in the world and you are not in Ghana to see what your people do, our people. Yes, sorry, I mean our people do. Then you, you see that sitting down and acting all confident and wanting us to believe you at all means, you won't do it. You won't do it, my sister. You won't do it because, you know what? They will fall your hand in, a, in such a brutal way, except you are good with telling lies. For some of us, I have made up my mind that, you see, I will never lie again, especially when it comes to this issue of Nigerians, some Nigerians and their behavior. I am no longer going to lie because I have come to realize that before you can receive treatment for any ailment, you must make up your mind to go to the hospital first to see a doctor and then the doctor will diagnose you with whatever they come up with, then they can start treatment. But if you're not willing to go to the hospital and nobody loves you enough or care enough to get to a doctor to come over to the house to force you to do it, I, unfortunately, you're going to die. And that is where Nigeria is right now. People like you that come on the internet. Hey, he perfecto, he perfecto, good, he good, he good. When yesterday, don't tell me you didn't see it, except you do not have any right to be making social media videos if you do not follow Instant Block Ninja. Did you see the kidnapping young girl that was killed and dumped at the roadside? She's not a Nigerian. That is a typical Nigerian, not the ones you are trying to defend, all these ones that come out here and make life miserable for all of us. So if you love your country, you will not want to become a citizen of another uh, country, especially illegally, through the crooked way. You want to get it, you want to hide, to I beg, go, tell them, I beg, tell them. So Nigerians, are basically, if you live in Nigeria, you're not in Ghana, majority, many Nigerians in Ghana are not proud to be identified as Nigerians. So let me tell you this, in case you do not know, I live in Ghana and I know that. If you like, if people can cry me a river down there at the comment section, hey, what you say, Nigeria? You want no price right now. Nobody, nowhere in the world wants to buy Nigerians. So when you say I want to sell you to which market, if I actually say market to sell everybody, I would do it. So I can get new generation of Nigerians and raise them, train them where to love genuinely, not this you going outside to cause problem. Is that law for your country? Stop lying. They play. So you lie there. And another lie told in the video is this part. Let me play it and I'll be back again to give another breakdown on it. Because they easily form communities, in, especially in your country. People mainly see them, maybe in groups. So wherever you see Nigerians, they will always want to identify with fellow Nigerians so that there will be a common goal. So during their meetings and other things, the way they dress, the way they move together, make them as a target. So it is easier for you to point and say, oh, these are Nigerians. Ah, because they are foreigners. They should leave our country. Oh, they are the ones that did this. Because you know them. Because they form the community and they are open and they are proud. Of whom they are. Yeah, she said they will form a community, they will stand together and be there for each other. Ah, this woman, you can lie. Like, for me, it's the fact that you want us to believe your lies. You look so confident and you want us to believe it, even though you know you are lying. If you want us to believe it, no problem. We believe you. But you know what? Some of us have sense enough to know the truth. There is a particular ethnic group in Nigeria that usually form a community, especially outside Nigeria. And these are the people that said they are not Nigerians. They are Nigerians right now because they are being forced to be Nigerians. They are sick and tired. They want their own country. They are the only ones I know do form a community outside of Nigeria. So who is confusing who? You see that energy you use in covering up, making it look like you love Nigeria so much. Use it to educate our youths on the danger of all the bad things that could bring the image of Nigeria down. You being a good Nigerian is beyond you wanting to be a PR to people that don't give a fling about you. I, for many reasons, I have some of my Ghanaian subscribers that have reached out to me and asked me to form a body in Ghana here that will help Nigerians get houses easily. But I told him, no, I can't. Yeah, because we are still living in denial. 
I will get myself into so much trouble if I do it. I can actually do it, yeah, with the little platform I have now. All I have to do is to get it done. I know where to go, I know who to call, I know the people to match with, and we will get it done. But you know what? If I do it, I will go to prison. Yes, your people will send me to prison. Right now, you cannot rent in Ghana, you cannot rent in Accra, Ghana, as a Nigerian of middle class except you are the rich and mighty you know these ones they can get houses in dollars at the trazaco some of them can use the american passport to rent of course they have the money and you know rich people don't talk too much it's we that are still struggling the young ones come and see what our people are doing in ghana so this one you say they are proud they are denying being a nigerian in ghana when you ask them where are you from they will lie that they're from cameroon so i don't understand who who they vex you who made you angry that you think that video is going to do what is going to correct anything is that video going to resurrect a young girl that was killed and dumped at the roadside? Her mother had been kidnapped as well. Her father is not able to raise the ransom demanded. So he was able to receive donations from friends and family, put the monies together and seven million naira. They said they don't want, they want more than that. Did you talk about that? Okay, fine. It's not your family member, of course. Ah, they are Yoruba. This family is even Yoruba. So why should you bother? You see, <clears throat> there's an explosion yesterday in Ibadan. We know who caused it in Nigerian. According to the governor, he said um, there's illegal mining going on in the area. So one person, one greedy person, also the greediness of one person won. So many Nigerians are dying. Then you come and sit down and say they are very, they love their country. Yeah. My sister, let's stop deceiving ourselves, okay? Is a lie. You are lying. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the second part. That one is kind of childish anyway. I did not expect someone like you because you sound so great. I actually like your English. But let's go to that part where you lie. The, the biggest lie of them all in the video. So you guys listen to it and I'll be back to give my unapologetic opinion. The third is the caring nature of Nigerians to women. This actually had caused a lot of problems between them and some men from other countries who feel intimidated by Nigerians. See, if you feel intimidated that a Nigerian is dating your sister or dating your girlfriend or that a Nigerian will snatch your girlfriend, then you need to buckle down. Buckle down and be a man. Take care of your woman. Mm -hmm. You see that part? Yes, so that particular part where she said, take care of your woman too, this, this and that. <laughs> oh my God, I've made a video here before talking about the type of woman that is made for the Nigerian man. You are talking about it, they take care of their women very well. Yeah, that is, you're not lying, you know, they take care of the woman they are sleeping with very well. They, they, then they sleep with you, they'll take care of you. Transaction, right? Simply means that if you don't have anything to sell to them, they won't take care of you. They'll beat you just like this video. It's go so much. And I didn't carry my phone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Exactly. This is what a typical Nigerian man would do to you. Go beat you because you challenge him. And did you guys see the battered face of this innocent Nigerian woman? Ask me what is her offense and I will explain to you for free. Explain to Deborah, the occupant of this car, Mr. Nosakare. Let me read the surname. Yes, Nosakare Uhu Arabona. I'm going to leave the spelling on the screen in case this man is your brother or your cousin so you can know him very well. So Mr. Nosa, who was the other occupant of the car who hit Deborah, came out and they were having a misunderstanding. Now this Mr. Nosa had another occupant in the car, another lady. And because the lady knew that it was Mr. Nosa's fault 
for ramming into Deborah. She was trying to calm Deborah down and you know make her understand that they were going to pay for it, they were going to fix it. But Mr. Nosa, <laughs> God knows the idea or perception he has about women. You know there are some men in Nigeria, I don't know whether it's like that in other African countries, but trust me there are some men that do not believe that a woman should talk to them or a woman should talk back to them or a woman should argue with them or a woman should call them out on their boot on their bs there's some men that they took this be submissive thing to the streets to the place of work they missed out on the parts where the bible said wives be submissive to them it is woman they don't believe that a woman and a man should have any discussion sometimes a man will hit your car he will tell you call your husband i'm not going to talk to you call your husband she didn't do anything no. her only offense is that she was driving she has a car she was coming back from wherever and then someone bashed her car then she got down to challenge him why will you bash me why will you because he was obviously wrong but this man descended on her and beat her mercilessly what are you saying so is that a country that takes care of their woman okay fine you take they take care of the women they sleep with majority of them do that and then for the rest of us that don't you know if you don't have anything to give in return you suffer except the person is your brother uh -huh. he will have mercy upon you so what are you saying when you want to come internationally and lie remember that there are people that know you we me, I have stated it before. If you know anything about me that I have done that you think I'm lying, you want to bring it out. Feel free. Feel free to bring it. Just make sure you are not lying. Because when you are lying, <laughs> that is where you have a case to make with God. Otherwise, feel free to bring it, okay? Because it's about time we talk about real things. It's beyond you guys trying to silence me. Hey, you have kids for two men. You have kids for different men. Like your mama had only you for your father. What about some of you that... Are not the children of your father you are the children of your mom's boyfriend you still won't stop me from speaking the truth you and i know that when you're trying to silence a woman in nigeria that is how to press the button so you coming to lie is a lie my sister that is not true the type of woman that is made for the nigerian man is the woman who do not believe in herself a woman who do not want to work a woman who have tried to work but cannot because of course life is too hard she needs someone to provide for her be you a nigerian or not you are the one that want to key yourself to be with a nigerian man taught you how to be content with yourself they have taught you that being married to someone is not all about him taking care of you financially it's about you guys growing together and stuff you wouldn't be craving and killing to be with a nigerian man because if if it's that they are not the best i don't know about south africans though okay so but you included ghana and south africa you were so you were emphasizing on these two countries what is it hmm? you emphasize on them so now because i don't know much about south africa i have never been to south africa i don't really know much about south africans i will speak for the country i live in the country i'm studying currently and i'm still getting to know them and the little have known so far about Ghanaians is that they are just incredible especially when it comes to women except you are talking about transactional that one i can't speak for Ghanaian men because i don't know yeah but if you are talking for value and respect and love and proper care of a woman ghana have it and ghana is winning big on that the women here are respected you are just normal human you can't just see a man jumping from the bush or random place to just call you prostitute or shower. You don't just see a man beating you physically like this girl, this one, in this v just this one, this one, this one, like this one. So I don't know what you're saying. We are so selfish. Things are happening in the country. We are just pretending that we can't notice them. You are coming to make a video. Hey, you want to... Who is... Uh, are Nigerians and Ghanaians fighting? Or are South Africans and Nigeria fighting again? During xenophobia, did you speak? Stop it. So, I have corrected this lie, okay? You're free to make your video or do whatever you like. Anything you people want to do, feel free to do it. I've, I've corrected that lie and I feel better now because that is a lie. That is not true. Nigerian men do not. Mm? They are not the best when it comes to taking care of a woman, except, of course, transactional like when he sleeps with you he pampers you for that time when he's no longer with you he discards you like a piece of shit. i want you to tell me if i came to you as a single woman 
Why wouldn't you give me an apartment? As an Africa, I don't think it's a right to a woman to look for apartment. So where am I supposed to live? Under the bridge? You live under, under your husband. But I don't have a husband, so what you am I supposed to do? You have to look for one as an Africa. These are the statements that make women stay in very abusive marriages that lead to their death. Let me tell you, if you are married to somebody, well, yes. that day you sighted your eye on that person that you are going to marry him. You have to be submissive to the call. Even when he's trying to kill you. Endure. Even when he's trying to kill you. You have chosen. That is Africa for you. You have chosen. And they hold, especially when he has money, they, all the, his country people, majority of Nigerians will support him. Look at the video and his first baby mama. Why is Sophia being hated so much? Why? You people ask. Did you ask? No, nobody, nobody cares. Nobody cares because, of course, who is she? A do girl. She doesn't even have money. Her, where, which family is she from? Because the person that used to sleep with her, that got her pregnant, before he even pick up anybody to say he's the wife, anything he does to her, people are applauding him. Is that the same country we are looking at to be great? You guys, stop lying. Basically, just stop lying. It's a lie. She's lying. Please, she's lying. I'm done with this video. She's lying. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.